if time, I bet all. Um, Tracy is here. Tracy, um, I'm going to make you a co-host so you can look through and accept people as um, up in the corner, if that works for you. Um, that will help me out. It's a, um, first of all, I wanted to start with, I love the fact that I've seen so many team leader meetings. Uh, we've had a lot of opinions, um, comments, concerns about what's going on with, um, oh, hang on, I'm going to mute all to start with, um, regarding our policies on um, the team leaders and what, what you need to do and what the things that need to be done. And the whole idea is it wasn't being done. So I've had several of people on the call shared their opinions with me about about having to do um, about our new requirements, but then also in the same breath will admit, yeah, well, we didn't do it before. You didn't require it. And that's the problem. We, we tried to make it just a, we're asking you to, and, you know, it's sometimes it's just like that in life that that people don't necessarily do it. And, and so we have to go to the next level, but, but overall, um, whether you liked it or not, you, the feedback that we're hearing at home office is that it's great. They felt very disconnected. Some people have said they don't, don't ever talk to their leader or they don't want to bother her. Um, I had one the other day who didn't even know um, who was two levels up from her the director she was reporting under and you know that's not a good thing we're not that big of a company it'd be like not knowing who's working at home office so um that's it so it's a good thing that we're we're now getting back to having um team meetings and i want to just tell you nice job i i've seen i've seen them i've seen a few of them um now that you're having them again if you're wanting to do a, yet another review of the website, I'm happy to do so. Uh, in regards to the website, we are still tireless, tirelessly working on the Shopify portion to get the documents to a point where they can be uploaded. It's still back to the same issue we've had before. It looks great. Um, it's actually, Tracy and I have been uh, working on the, we were working on final touches this morning but until we can figure out how to get the uploads to work, it doesn't make sense to go live. So um, we have something in place that works. It's not the best, but um, Shopify is step one. And then the next step is to get you into your back offices. So you're going to have plenty of time to go in, to look at your back offices, um, try to get people to sign up on, on your back offices before that portion also goes live. So way delayed. I think it's it's typical when you're taking on um, something of this, uh, taking a transitional uh, step in this magnitude going from basically two systems. So it's not just one. We're just not going from one to another. We've got to do the shopping portion. And then again, because we're um, a direct selling company, we have to put in that component of, of um the payments and the accounts and all the other balances that we have. So, um, and then, okay. So then pink out, is everybody um, excited about pink out or any thoughts about pink out? Do you want to know the dates? Or are you just wondering what our dates are for pink out? Probably for, for our pink out. Did anybody see the 18th through the, Somebody yeah, okay. Who read their? Who read their? Um, oh, what do you call the playbook? Somebody's oh, I gonna read know. It. I just can't remember the ending. I think it's the 18th through the 23rd. Yes, correct. Yeah. 18th through the 23rd. <laughs> um, um, we are trying. Hang on, we got two more trying to join. So we want to make sure that you know we will have um specials going on then. Uh, we'll. Typical is what we do every year. We'll do something special for uh, the pink out dates. And, you know, they're always a little fun. It's a good reason to to have everybody get together. We will probably do an event at home office as well. Tracy has been very good about getting her friends and family over. 
and we're gonna might continue doing something ourselves and and have a little well, celebration. Do we know exactly what the specials are going to? No, be? Okay. no, we we that never would help in getting the party spirit. Yep, there's always something good, but we don't announce that ahead of time. So definitely get get your parties booked and know that it's always going to be something special. Uh, the donations are on; they'll be on all month. So you can um, collect for your project uplift um, if you would like to, and that will be ready and available. So any questions so far? Uh, Kate, I have a question regarding project uplift. Uh, actually, two part question. Number one, what is the minimum amount that you would like to receive in a box? Um, it says right there on the form, can anybody answer that? When you go to the Google form, it tells you how many. Did anybody see that? I think it's 40, but I do have a question about that. Does that include, like, what if it's 35 bras and then five boxes? Of yeah, 40 items is perfect. If you do more than that, um, as everyone knows, or hopefully everybody knows by now, we are now not working with I Support the Girls. We're doing it at home office. Uh, we found that much of our donations, we either didn't know where they were going or um, they weren't necessarily ending up in the hands of the people that needed them. So all of your donations are coming back to us. We've done this so many years at this point that it's easier for me to connect directly with the ladies, especially, and I will say this till I'm blue, the one, the one thing that they need more than anything is those bigger size bras. They're so hard to come by. You know, if you think of yourself walking through a Nordstrom or walking through um, a Soma or any of those brick and mortar bra stores, that is not going to be the size you're finding. It's not like, you know, when you go to uh, the store and it's only smalls and extra larges on the rack, on the sale rack. Um, those are always the leftover because it's the small to mediums to go. It's not like that. It's those hard to find sizes that they're just desperate for. And um, a reminder, take the donations. If somebody has taken the time to come to your house and drop off bras, thank her. Thank her profusely. Tell her, tell her a little story about where these go and what's going on with them. But if it looks like something you wouldn't wear, they won't wear it either. So um, I did find are that. Are y'all doing this just, that, are you getting out in your local area, starting there and then branching nope. out? Nope. Okay. It's gone all over the country. Okay. Yep. All, all of those. I, I usually do like our, uh, it's called Families in Crisis and it's for women and children. Well, and I'm going to, I will give you, um, I will tell you if you, um, I was, I had attempted to try and explain this at the, at our regional meeting, I didn't quite have a chance to finish um, explaining how we're working this. If you have something, so Renee, you have a group that you've been working for. If you are collecting with them, I, I can modify the form so that um, that you can report those numbers for I support the girls and donate them in your own area. You do not have to send them back to me. I want to be clear about that. You do not. They don't have to come to us. If you've heard of a shelter and once you're in that circuit, once you let people know what you have, what you can offer, especially if you say to them, hey, I'll donate my time. This is a great thing for new newbies too. If you have a new rep who's never done fittings before, talk about birth by, by fire. You could actually get <laughs> some pretty good training done right away by ladies who have no prejudgments. They, they're just so happy that you're there. And um, so it's a great opportunity to just keep it local. We love that. We encourage that. But we do want you to report your numbers. Um, we, I don't know if you see my shirt here, EBW Cares. And then on the back, it says, I believe Project Uplift. Can you see it there? Um, I'm going to make a program going forward so that you can earn these. Um, it, and if you want, uh, so that you, the more donating you have, you'll be able to go and you can represent and wear an EBW care shirt. I have people who ask me about this anytime I wear it. 
um, wanting to know what it is, how can they participate? Um, service in our communities is a huge subject right now. And it, it really says a lot about you and, and your teammates when you go out and donate your time and your effort. Any other questions? I don't have a question, but I mean, I like that shirt and that's, I like the idea we discussed in our team leader meeting about that's a good way to go do cold calls because I have a couple of places I want to go do that too. I would love to have that shirt. And if we can't do it, can we have the emblem and I'll just make my own? Um, well, this was just something that the logo and was just something that Danielle made. So yes, I will, um, I will share that. I think that's I, a great idea. I love that. I, I kind of like the idea of giving you an incentive. Um, you know, it's just something that, that you can earn by your donations. And some of you are really good about it, but. Um, and I like that too. However, if I want to get started that way. Yeah. You know, it's kind of nice to have it, but I, I mean, I totally agree. I would love to have it for free, but I can't start out with it until it's done. If you know what uh, I mean. Yeah. Uh, Jessica, I am actually not a hundred percent sure. I think we went through to look to see where we have project uplift and I support the girls. That's not a crisis. If people think that, you know, some of our stuff does end up going to the Detroit area affiliate. She will still call me. So to say that we're not part of, I support the girls isn't necessarily the case, but we really are taking it more in our own hands. So we have more control over where the items go and where the greatest need is. It also gives you more of an opportunity to get back in your own area. So I, I w we will do that going forward, but it's in the catalog there. It's in other places that really can't be um, changed right now, but we will do so. All right, then um, on to some, uh, I would say not some, this is not scolding, please don't take it this way, but we do have to have a conversation about, about phone calls. Um, as you may or may not have known, and you shouldn't know, because what we do at home office is we always cover you. You you always will have someone there to answer your emails. You'll always have someone there to ship your priority packages, no matter what. We have vacations. It's coming towards the end of the year. Chris deserves a vacation. Kathy deserves a vacation. Those two are off. It just so happened that they collided at the same time that Carrie and I divided and conquered. She was at one event. She came home in the evening and I left the next day. Um, add that to the fact that we're training Amy, the new employee, um, and getting her up and going. And she was in the warehouse pulling orders. Um, I sort of felt like uh, she was, she had a few, few phone calls that she was sort of being prodded to like <laughs> ask and why isn't anybody here and and she had a few like that and I, it doesn't really matter if you if you pay for a priority order it goes um we weren't able to cover friday it was the only day that we couldn't and i came in saturday so i was out of town i left to san diego wednesday morning and i flew back on the red eye in the office pulling orders but but no matter what you don't you don't need to know that it's um, you wouldn't call the gap and find out who's working the staff there or why aren't they answering phones, right? It just think about real life. Would you do that? Would you call your doctor's office 12 times in a row because they didn't answer the phone? No, you would, you would leave a message because it would probably say if someone doesn't answer, leave a message. And um, whether you know this or not, when we're on the phone, and you call while we're trying to talk to someone, beep, 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 as it continues. And then we see who it is because on these phones, on the directories, I don't know if you can see this on this phone, it tells me it's a little, little um, section there. We know who's calling. We see who's calling and then people don't leave a message. Um, sometimes there are things that are really that that you think are important and sometimes not what is really important the website's down if the website has crashed and there's a um, someone's hacking it that's a crisis that would probably deserve a that would that's a situation where you would just text either myself or Carrie but otherwise 
we need to get in the happen. Uh, what's on the back of your shirt, Kate? It says um, Project Uplift on the back of the shirt. Um, if it's not an emergency, your e email is your number one. Please email rep support with order numbers, information, everything that you need. Um, I'm going to do a shout out here um, to Bonnie and to Lisa. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think who else. Um, I always get emails and it's really easy for me to deal with. I can answer it uh, if I'm happen to be checking on the, on the weekend. And I'm sure there are others of you who do, but it makes it very easy to, um, Lynn Glover, um, got some Indian speaking on leading the way. I don't know what that is. Can someone make sure, can someone send the link to Lynn Glover? I don't know what leading the way she hopped on to. Yeah, Mary, we prefer emails too, because, um, you know, sometimes we, you know, we're a small office. We talk every day. Um, we we are not, Chris and I are usually either in the same office or not, depends. Uh, today I'm home, but we talk all the time. Um, and, and those emails are answered with priority. I have access to rep support email. Laura has access to rep support email. Amy has access to rep support email and Kathy does as well. So you have four people actually even Carrie's phone. So um, when someone needs to go to a doctor's appointment, if someone's at lunch, we're still checking those. And there, and I, I don't think there's anyone here who would disagree with that. So emails are first. If it's absolutely something you feel like you have to have a phone call for, if she doesn't answer it, it means she's on the phone leave a message. She will get it. You become the priority. If the phone then again rings later, she's still going to go with that e email first. So the uh, phone number is going to be the last on the list. Okay. Does everybody understand that or have any questions, comments, or concerns they want to share? I know, I know it's, I know it's scary to think that someone might not answer your email if there's been a mistake in your order. But I promise you, we do. Does anybody feel like their emails aren't answered? I had that happen once last week, but other than that, they're answered. I I, had, I ended up having to call because after two days, I didn't get a response, and Laura okay. was able to fix it. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to follow up on that. What day did you send the email? Mm, I sent it. She yeah, she fixed it. I just um. Did you send it on a <coughs> Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? Let me. Because I was covering the phone. I was covering the emails Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I sent it on the 25th, which was Monday. And then still didn't get anything. So I called her finally on. Okay. So. That's a good when, example. And I, I will finally call th Thursday. I, I finally called okay. her. Yeah, it was so, Thursday. And you sent it to rep support, not Kathy. Because a lot of times gals will say I emailed and they ended up sending it to Kathy. I no, I sent it. No, nope, sent it to rep support. Okay. I, I will follow up. And that's a good example of when you should reach out. Right. Yeah. If I you finally, haven't... After, I, after three days, I was like, yeah, I yeah. need to follow up with that's that. That's a so. great example. That's a great example. If honestly, if you hadn't heard in a, in a, in a, within 48 hours, if it's not the weekend, just reply back. And I am, I can be just as guilty sometimes with, um, I support the girls. I try to, or I mean, with project uplift, I try to stay on top of it, but, um, that's a good example. If you haven't heard in 48 hours, respond back to that email. Hey, just want to make sure you didn't miss this. Um, still looking for an answer on this issue. I have a question. Yeah. Um. Thank you for that because I've been emailing a lot. Um. For all the reasons you know, if I don't hear within 24 hours, is it okay to send you a quick text and say, "Hey, check on this," because you really saved me yesterday yeah. with an escalating customer. And um, when I'm out of state, I can't support them as much. Yeah. I do my best, but when I'm local, I can literally drive to their house if I have to you know what I mean so that's yes. where I get stuck when I'm out of state but is that okay or did I overstep yep. on that one that's you know what I'm not I am not gonna ever tell I'm not gonna block you from you all have my cell number 
Um, I hope you use it sparingly. And I think most I do. people do. I do. Um, and, and no, that actually was a perfect moment. I was in the office and I was able to process that for you. And yes, you're right. We all get those crazy, crazy ones every now and then. But, you know, we're human. We understand. We know that things come up. So it's just a matter of getting into the habit. And for sure, for sure, I we, we have a report on the phones. And if I see, if I see that you're calling six times in a row, you're going to get a call from me. I, I, okay. Sorry. And I, and it's just, it's just, it, this isn't again, hand slapping. It's just to remind you like, Hey, just want to rhyme, remind you, we see you called. We, we know you're there. And um, if you leave us a message, we can start working on it. Maybe even have the answer before we call you back or email you back with the answer. So, okay. Um, and then one last thing, and I, I thought this was done, but I again, found out because we're covering for vacations that people are still calling home office to have them, the party switched a shopping cart order to a, an, um, an, an event shopping cart. Basically someone's putting through a shopping cart order and then calling and asking her to move it to a party. That is an absolute N-O. I thought we'd taken care of this a few months ago. Um, I had some great suggestions from, actually, I think um, Jessica had sent me a notice she had gotten from another company on how to make sure that they know they're uh, checking out with um, an event. And it is clear as day. If there is anybody on this call who disagrees with me, I'm going to walk you through that whole process because it the events are up at the top. They're easy to find. There's a separate section that says shop my events. If that customer happens to go shop with a shopping cart, it's actually saying to her, "Are this your rep has events. Did you mean to shop with one of her events? And guess what? You don't even have to start over. She can click on that event and it will go. And when you check out one more time, did you mean to shop with an event? How many calls do you think she's getting with reps asking her to move shopping cart orders to a party? You throw out a guess. You can unmute yourself and give me a guess. 100. 10. Well, we're going to go per week. 10. <laughs> It's, it, it's 30, it's 30, hundred would be awful, but that, that's a lot. Wow. And I, I don't know if it's that it's, can. there are only two things that I can think of. It's easier to find a credit card on a shopping cart and, and then throw it onto that order. But I believe you can, am I right or wrong? You can autofill contact information on an event shopping cart. Yes, you can autofill. Okay. And can you also not put, credit card, but not the credit card. So if I were to guess, and I don't know the answer, I don't want to know. I think, I think, and I'm saying reps, I'm not saying you, I'm saying, I think reps are doing it because it's convenient and they can quickly access the credit card and just don't do that. It's, it makes more work for Laura or, and then if, if you do that, then, um, Sep uh, September 6th didn't get a response, but I'm worried about it. Um, again, that's an example, Robin, where you call. If that if that were the case, either um, the email has gotten lost or um, or it didn't get delivered. So that that's another situation where you pick up a call. Yeah. Sorry, I, I meant to say not worried about it. Um, I was able oh. to take care of the client. But it was a wire issue coming out in an um, Abbey Lux. And, and not that big of a deal. Just wanted you guys to be aware of the wire issue. Um, yeah. So, uh, again, if that's wire pops are an issue. And if, if that, that's a defective bra. So that's a case where you email rep support and say, hey, I have a, a defective wire. Here's my order number. This is when she ordered it. You've already done the thing. You've already asked her if her dog, you know, you always, you always ask the normal questions. Yeah. Could something else have happened to it? And if not, that's when you reach out to home office. Yeah. I think she was over washing. Yeah. To be honest. So I just took care of her. She's going to be a lifelong client. So not a big deal for me. Right. What are the normal questions for wire pops? 
Oh, uh, well, you, uh, why are pops want to know the number one? You know, the stay on the side that we all have. And, you know, I'm a little fluffy there. <laughs> so it, it, you always ask, is it actually coming out or is it poking? A lot of times you'll find, oh, it's poking me. Well, maybe we could change, you know, go to the Lux bra or maybe a, a don't have it so tight. That is a, a, that is probably the number one concern that it's not actually poking out. It's poking them. We get that with the Chrissy and we've got, we get that with the Abby sometimes. So, um, and then ask them. Um, so we've had some where it's caught around the washing machine. They threw it in. It's spun around. That can happen. But if you have a bra that's a month old and the wire has popped out, yeah, that's that's a call to home office. That should not happen. So, yeah, the stay can move up and down as needed. And that stay can be uncomfortable. But when they call to talk to you about it, sometimes you realize it's, po it's poking through. It's it's not ne po necessarily poking through. Just like Chris said, it is, it is designed to move up and down. Thank you. Um, any other questions, concerns? I see everybody got many, 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 many items of perky points out. So good job spending. We got, got through all that. And um, you have until the end of October. So uh, October 31st to use up any expo points for those of you that the expo points are affecting. Okay, I have a question. Did y'all give any thought to adding another item as the hostess reward besides that pink shirt that they could have an option to pink pick from? Thank you, Deb. Uh, <laughs> we we did not. And um, you know, if somebody doesn't want that sweatshirt, donate it to somebody. That's you know, I've gotten things that I don't necessarily like, and I, you show that shirt to someone. I'm not a big fan of wearing boobs around on my shirt but you know what danielle loves it and and um amy who just started working for us couldn't wait to try one on so yes it's it's a it's still the message that it's getting out it's the conversation about breasts and breasts are different and a it's october breast cancer awareness month you never know that t-shirt might be that trigger that tells someone Oh my gosh, I've got to go get my mammogram scheduled. Yeah, I know. There's so many other options we could use for a t-shirt if we always do something in October. So maybe think about a different print because I, I don't, okay, so you're saying Danielle and Abby, look at, or Amy, whatever her name is, look at their age. That makes a whole lot of difference in what they're going to uh, wear and not a wear. Amy's fifty-five. Well, she's my. Still, she's my she's, <laughs> Amy but, and I. Amy and I. Um, just so you know, Amy. Amy's my best friend from Columbus, Indiana. Little trivia there, and uh, she. We were lucky enough. She has been working in the school systems in career and tech ed, as a part-time employee, and the grant money dried up at the same moment that you know with the website and the tra and that's her specialty is um excel excel files um she's actually um there are a few of you on here who just absolutely can't figure out that excel and how to download your customers oh yeah pick up the t send an email to amy at essentialbodywear.com um mary i've already put you on that list and elaine i already put you on that list if you really can't figure it out, there's no point in me taking an hour and a half to show you how to do it. I already did um, Dawn's for her. Um, you know, I understand that 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 can be hard and I don't want it to be difficult, but, uh, you know, it's easier for us. And and she's very good at that in Excel questions. If you get lost or um, confused with any of that, that is her specialty. Kathy's good at it too, but um, we just don't want that to be a stress for everybody. Um, Kate, just to clarify, are gift certificates coming over when the website? Uh, that's another, yeah, that's another project that a Amy's working on. So that's a tough one. And I'll tell you why. A lot of those are the freebies. The freebies aren't coming over. 
So if you had things for, if you had purchased gift certificates, absolutely they're coming over, but not the freebies. Got to use those up. So now, if, if, like, the so if we did that, if we earned the bingo thing, that's not coming over. No, please use those up. Y yes, we will if you have to, but I'm asking you, you've got a whole month to move, uh, actually longer than that. At this point, we're we're looking at a launch of December 1st, so you've got plenty of time to use those up. Okay. I would suggest, I, I couldn't believe somebody had purchased some, and I think sometimes we're, we're not, maybe I'm wrong, but are there some of you out there that think that you earn credit by buying gift certificates? I hope not, because... It doesn't matter if you buy it on an event or you buy it at a party or buy it on a shopping cart. You are basically just buying a, a prepaid debit card. There's there's you no get, you get credit when you use it. No. That's that's a that's the wrong way to use that's the wrong way to right, but I mean, but that's how it works. If you do if you do a gift gift card, you don't get that credit towards your your it's uh -huh. just a it's just a payment type. Only think of it as a yeah. payment type. Yeah. But so you get that. Correct. We get you credit. Get, you get credit off the item that is purchased with Purch. the gift card. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that there's a, a a misconception that if you buy one, say at a party, that that's going to be added to your hostess volume. It that indeed does not. So don't don't don't. Don't even bother getting them until, unless you really, really want one, I would just wait till we're at the new website. I had a client win one of the gift cards when you guys did a, like a contest for everybody mm -hmm. and she hasn't used the whole thing yet. She started using it, but um, I'm trying to encourage her to use it so we don't have yeah. to move it over. But yep. does that one count? Cause she didn't pay for it, but. Yeah. Just encourage them to move them all over. I'm trying. Yeah. yeah and it's... then what about the paid shipping codes that i Yes, but it was discounted. I'm trying yes. to use them, but those will come over. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Any other questions? I think we've covered everything in such a short period of time. So down to business. They, then that'll give everybody the opportunity to head on for the rest of their day. Hopefully you all have a beautiful October still. I know here in Michigan, we're uh, you can see Anne is sitting out in the sun in a tank top in Michigan. So, <laughs> oh, you're on mute. How many times do I said say I went you walking are... <laughs> like this at 8:30? Yeah, it's it's strange. It's All beautiful. right, goodbye, Lisa. Um, yes, Jody. I'm trying to think if there's any. Someone uses a gift. No, you don't. You don't get paid. You never get paid on a gift certificate. You get paid on the item that they have purchased and Bonnie. Right, our, so we receive our commission. If they use the gift certificate for a bra, right. we get the commission on the correct. bra. Correct. Correct. Right. Yep. Uh, Bonnie, how is the horse expo going? You've been there, what, two weeks now? Three? Oh, one week. Bonnie does a big, she's on mute, but she does a big equestrian uh, expo in Ohio this time of year so yeah hey funny thing about Bonnie's expo she met a customer of mine or met a lady years ago that has ended up being a hostess of mine that lives about an hour from me oh. and we party it about every other year nice so you just never know who you're going to meet at those expos far away yeah we um uh... We, I, I have run into people several times that know of or are familiar with the product, and when they know, when they love their rep, they love you. They are going to sing your praises to no end, and that is the great thing about our customer base. They definitely appreciate everything that yeah. you do and all of your Thanks. efforts that you give to them. All right, I think we will wrap up and. Um, we will see you in the next meeting and stay tuned for our um, pink out specials. I don't exactly remember the date we were going to release, but stay tuned. Bye everyone. Have a great day.